Namaste, beautiful yogis. My name is John, and this will be a mixed level group yoga practice. We will skip through the warm up and cool down, and we will have no shavasana in order to keep it short and sweet. We we'll still have to do some stretching in the beginning at the end, so we'll start with a little stretch. On your inhale, reach, stretch, interlace your fingers, keep your chin up, and a little side to side, stretching the side of our bodies. Release the right hand behind, keep a straight spine, do a little gentle twist to the right and to the left. Cross your arms and gently fold, forehead down. Inhale slowly, release the hands behind. Roll your shoulders down the back, chin up, bend, pull back. Welcome to push your knees to the mat, lift your hips as a variation. And slowly release. We're going to turn slowly into a tabletop. Continue with some warm up. Shoulders over the wrist, knees under your hips. Dropping your belly, looking up on the inhale. Rounding your back on the exhale. Cuts the feet down, draw the hips back. Slowly fold. Inhale back to table. A little more movement. Right hand, left leg. Extend, bring your belly up. Two touches, elbow to knee. Inhale, exhale, and release. Other side. Inhale, exhale. One more. And release. From tabletops. Perfect alignment, shoulders over the wrist, knees under your hips, toes down, start to begin to lift your knees, press back into your heels, head between the biceps, lifting into down dog. Feet hip distance apart, hands shoulder width apart, looking like an inverted V. Press into your whole palm, a beautiful stretch, powerful pose. You can walk your dog, you can lift up and down, you can wipe side to side, wave. Next breath, come forward to a plank, remember, option two is down plank. Shoulders over the wrists, kneecaps up, belly in. Inhale and turn to your left side, side plank. Extend the arm, float the leg, options, feet staggered or stacked. And back to plank, and to the other side. A beautiful stretch, extend the same options. Back to plank, remember knees down is an option. A couple of yogi push-ups, elbows by your sides. Or regular, then slowly release. Hands by your chest, up to the feet down. Roll the shoulders back, cobra. Or up dog, lowering your hips. Turn to table, slowly. Take another breath or two, cat cows or not. Next inhale, right hand up to the side. Gently cross under, bend your left elbow. Gentle stretch and a twist, extending your hand and your leg, maybe floating the leg, maybe wrapping the hand, all options available. Come back to table. Take one or two breaths. Other side, same options. Sorry, other side. And stretch. And float. And wrap. Or not. And slowly return. From table again, easy way, perfect alignment. Hips back, down dog. Remember your breath, very important, full inhales, full exhales. Take two or three breaths between pauses, in pauses. I don't have time today for that, but you do it. Right leg, we're gonna swing up. Down dog splits. Bend the knee, open the hips, drop your circles, loosen up your right hip. Level out again, bend forward, meet the nose. Shoulders over the wrists. Inhale up. Long step. 
with me in your hands, run as large, left knee straight. Inhale, right hand up, a gentle twist, a full extension, or a gentle wrap. Or not give up. Bend forward. Draw the hips back, swing the knees. One or two times. And then when you're ready, step up. And slowly lift into a chair pose. Feet hip distance, hips back, knees over the ankles. Belly in, chin up, biceps by your ears. Chair pose, toes lifting, and then lift on your toes. And adjust your calves. And then forward fold. Halfway lift, look forward, straight the spine. Full forward fold. And the hand behind your calf, put your chin down. Shake your head, yes and no. Release the hands to the mat, knees bent. You can walk or jump into chaturanga, elbows by your sides. Go up to cobra or up dog. And then slowly draw your hips back up to down dog. Take a few breaths. The next inhale, left leg up. First, you do the down dog splits, pressing the chest and the right thigh. You bend the knee, open the hips. A few circles, loosen up the left hip. Level out. One time you can out. Inhale, splits. Exhale, step. Run as lunge, knee of the ankle, right knee straight. Left hand up. And reach and stretch. You may be a half wrap. Your head looking up. Draw the knee closer to the right shoulder. And release. A little gentle bending and stretching. Straighten the knees. Bending forward. The next breath, step up. I'm going to turn to the side for the next poses. Bring your feet a little bit wider than your knees and then slowly squat. You can stop anywhere and above your knees. You can go all the way down. You can go halfway or hands on the mat. Just open the knees and the hips. One or two breaths. Next inhale, lifting halfway, wrapping your hands under. Squeezing your knees in, running the head loose. Beautiful stretch. And release. Straighten the knees. Walk your feet wider. Your hands behind your back. And roll forward with your fist. Bending your knees. Swaying side to side. Release the hands, walk your feet in. I'm going to turn back to the side for the next poses. Better view. Down dog. One more breath. Inhale, right leg again. You can add a little power move here. You can bring the knee over to the right tricep. You can swing between the elbows. You can do an arm balance, or you can just touch the elbow. Lift when you're ready. Go straight under the time. You can arm balance, you can extend the leg. Turn on your inner side of your left foot and open to a fallen triangle pose. Release on your exhales. Inhale the leg. Long step forward and back to that runner's lunge. And then with power, lift. Pressing warrior one. 
Let me straight, right in at the 90 degrees. You never want to be over your ankle, top or back. On your exhale, twist, open. Keep that, and reverse. Back bend, twist, power lunge. All in there. Exhale, the left pin down. Could in here before, you're gonna modify. Move it forward and step. Swing your right knee, lift your left heel, hip height, swing knee, right and up. You call that move. Option for power yogis, right hand behind the back, no hands on the mat. Exhale, both hands, take a breath. Bring your left toes to the left, stack hips and shoulders. Left hand up, bring your left toes to the left side. Power yogis, no hands. And slowly release again. One more pose here. Hands to the side, warrior three. Forward, forward. Forward, back. And slowly come up to the top. We inhale, we stretch, we hip distance. Bend your knees, back bend. On your exhale, draw your tail from your back. Sit down in a nice little chair for a little break. Let's get it. And then fold. Halfway lift. Full board fold. One more breath. Option for a little balance if you want. Shutter on the hands, elbows back. Knees tie up into your triceps. Look forward. Bakasana. Then walk or jump back to that chaturanga. Elbows bend to 90 degrees. Roll over your toes. Up over cobra. How you will give push ups, one leg up, other leg up. Top dog, when you're ready. Take two or three breaths. That's an option if you don't like or don't do down dog, you can be in tabletop and rest there. One more breath. Next inhale, left leg up. Same option as before. The knee over to the tricep. Swing the knee between the elbows. Just stay on balance. When you're ready, lift. Next exhale, go straight under. I'll show the arm balance on this side. Cross over. Or go straight to your palm triangle. Or do both. Release slowly. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, step forward. Set up your runner's lunge powerfully. And then lift on inhale. Settle down. Take a few breaths. On your exhale, twist. On your inhale, reverse. On your exhale, release the hand, move it forward, step. Around your hip, your heel, heel to the hip, twist. Involve tap moon. Some of the options, you can wrap, no hands. And slowly release the hands that are facing the opposite side. Stack hips on hip, shoulder on shoulder. Right hand up, right toes point to the right. Maybe no hands. And then slowly level hips, shoulders, arms floating. Four in three. And come up to standing. Inhale. 
and a full exhale. Another. Remember your breath. This is your best friend in yoga. Don't hold your breath. I'm going to turn this way for the next few poses. Feet hip distance outside of your feet, width of your hips. Inhale. Biceps by your ears. Put your tailbone back. Sit down in your nice little chair. One more breath. We're going to twist again. No hips movement, just the body twisting. Inhale up. No hips. Other side. Inhale up. Then slowly fold. Keep the knees bent. Slide your hand under your feet. Toes into the wrist creases. Begin to straighten the knees, the elbows, pull to a cat back. And if you want more, you can bring the elbows to the sides. Pulling more down to the back. Release your hands, bring your toes together, heels apart, squeeze your knees together. Inhale back to chair. Adding another twist, hands at heart. Lift side body long, exhale twist, elbow outside of your knee. Lots of options here. You can lift your heart, you can open your arms, you can squat all the way and open, you can arm balance, I'll show the arm balance on the other side. And then slowly back to center. On your powerful inhale, lift. On your exhale, twist. Open it up, same options. Come down. Knee stays forward, elbow under the thigh, elbow under the hip. Arm balance, optional of course. And slowly come back. I'm going to turn back to the sides for the next poses. Back to table. We're going to bring our knees really wide. Big toes touching, cups the feet down. Roll your elbows. Slowly push the hips. Back to your heels. Option, you can stretch all the way down to the mat. Belly, chest, chin or forehead. You can bring the elbows out, stack your palms, lower your forehead. Child's pose, you can turn your head one way or the other. Stay a little longer here, but we don't have the time today. Beautiful twist here again, lifting halfway, crossing your right hand under, palm facing up, shoulder down, side of your face, left and forward, or a wrap, reaching for your right thigh. And then slowly coming back, for a breath, and twisting the opposite way. Same options. And slowly returning you back to the table. Just keep those poses a little longer. Your own practice. Back to the table. Next inhale. Back to down down. Move your right hand slightly to the center. Step the right leg on the edge of the mat. In line with your hands. Your left knee straight, rock a little bit. Lots of variation of this lizard pose. You can stay here and lower the knee, top of the feet down. You can lower your elbows. You can stretch sideways, find monkey pose. Bring your knee down, pull your knee up. Lots and lots of options. And for my power yogis, lift the knee, come forward, right hand forward, right hand down, shoulder to knee, left hand forward, 
And if you really want to be challenged, two hands forward. Right leg up. Open the hips, open your circles, maybe flip your dog, a wild thing, or a full back wheel. Your choice. Take a few breaths, then move your left hand in, swing the left leg up, step. Lizard. Any option you want here. Get a stretch. Back to the mat, left leg up, open the hips, lift the dog or not. Down dog is next. Take a few breaths, you can go to your vinyasa, chaturanga, half dog or cobra, push ups, all of that, or not. Next inhale, right leg up again, you're gonna step forward. Foot between your hands, turn on your left toes, land the foot, 10 15 degree angle, line up front heel to back arch or back heel. Left hand up, side angle pose, stack the shoulders, left knee straight, straight line, extended, side angle. Maybe a wrap, half or full. Maybe a hand forward for power. And then from here, press up. Warrior two. Feet, perfect alignment already. Hips and shoulders parallel to this. Side wall, looking over the right fingertips. Belly in, elbow down. Open the knee. Knee over the ankle. Not forward or maybe back, it's okay. Reversing. Keep that and straighten the right knee. Keep going back. Unlock your arms. A gentle reach. Maybe the right hip goes slightly back. Land your triangle pose. And inside, outside, toe grab, shin, all the options there. Second shoulders and hips, extending your side of the body. And slowly bend both knees, both hands by the right foot, left toes turn, a gentle step, square the hips to the side, fold, pyramid pose, left hand stays down, right hand goes up, revolving on triangle pose. On your exhale, release, bend the knees, turn slowly facing the side of your mat, feet really wide, parallel to each other, pressing into the outer edges of your feet. Lots of options here, stretching forward, don't bring the hips, folding, stretching backwards, palms up, head to the mat, maybe a headstand, or reaching for your feet. Pulling elbows to the sides, separating shoulder blades. Next inhale, release the hands in the interest of time. We're going to move here to the left side, warrior two. Walk your feet in, toes in, heels out. Then slowly turn your left toes to the side wall. Left hand outside, side angle pose. Alignment, heel to arch, heel to heel, right hand forward. Or a wrap, or a power. And lifting. Level out. Reverse warrior. Keep the reverse warrior, straight the knee, transitioning to triangle pose. The loud knees are straight, reaching, maybe a little tilt, landing a triangle. You should stay a few breaths. Same options here, you can reach, you can wrap. 
Remember, your hand can be anywhere. Toe, shin, inside, outside, or the block. Next exhale, bend the knees, both hands by the left foot. Toes, step, square, and fold. Left and up. Ball triangle. Slowly release. I'm going to turn all the way to the other side. I'm going to step, come down to a seat. A little cool down. And slowly low down to your back. Walk your heels in, elbows by your sides. Pushing the knees forward, lifting your hips, pressing into the shoulder blades, walking them in. Very powerful pose for your low back. You can interlace fingers, you can keep the hands to the sides, you're relaxing. One more breath. And then slowly go down. A little power move. Tighten your belly, reach. Maybe straighten the knees. Maybe lift to a bullet pose. And then slowly release, cross your knees. Again, you're going to stretch forward, reaching and walking down. And welcome to add a little more cool down poses, shoulder stand, or anything else. And we'll do something else next time, different poses. But please remember, you can watch this. If you subscribe to the Club and the Dero YouTube channel, or you can check out the Dero website at www.clubandthedero.com. I want to thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.